Hello everyone, and welcome back to the Roger Roger Reviews channel, and today we're taking a look at the Star Wars Black Series Riot Scout Trooper from the Gaming Greats line. Looking at the front of the box, you get the figure that is included along with the accessories. You also get the name of the game the character is from, the Gaming Greats sticker here on the side, and their name down here. And on the side of the box, you get this amazing artwork of the Riot Scout Trooper. And like I mentioned before, by adding more figures from the same line, you can create a mural. So here's the Riot Scout Trooper alongside the KX Security Droid. Look at the back of the box, you get a bigger portrait of the character, and surprisingly, um, no logo of the game. I guess because Jedi Survivor, you know, wasn't out yet. And you also get a description, the number which falls into the line. And a bunch of little warnings. Here's the side of the box, bottom, and the top. So I'll go ahead and open them up, and we can see what's inside. Here he is, El Gato Plastic. And here he is out of the box. And looking up close, he looks really cool. Of course, it has the Scout Trooper body, but I love the uh, harness right here. And it goes in the back into this like little piece and it looks really cool. And I'll go ahead and review from top to bottom. Look at the helmet. It looks very cool. Of course he has that iconic Scout Trooper helmet. It looks very nice with the black visor. Has some silver here in the front. This black mark. And here's a good look going around. And he does have a joint here at the top of the neck. So you get quite a bit of movement. Here's side to side, all the way back, and all the way forward. Look at the torso. It looks very nice. He has this gray harness, and has some small details going throughout it. The silver belt buckle, this red cable, and this little, like, box that's attached to it. He also has the scout trooper armor underneath. And looking at the back, the harness and the cable continue. He also has this, like, little piece here in the back. And he also has this, like, uh, other piece. Here in the back as well and he does have a ball joint here at the waist but it's kind of hard to move with that harness so here's side to side all the way back and all the way forward look at the arms the arm does stick out about there goes all the way around he has a double elbow so it goes up about there he has a swivel above the elbow and he has articulation at the wrist and at the hand so here's all the way down all the way up, and there's the swivel. The other side as well, arm sticks out about there, and goes about there, before interfering with this cable piece. It goes all the way around right here before interfering with the cable piece, and the cable piece I'm referring to is this one right here. It's attached to his like forearm. He does have a swivel above the elbow, and he has a double elbow, so it goes all the way up. And he has articulation at the wrist and at the hand. So here's all the way down. All the way up. And there's a swivel. And looking at the waist, he has this like harness piece that's underneath. And has some silver bell buckles as well. And it continues in the back right there. Look at the legs. The legs do go out into a split position. They do go into a sitting position. And they go back about there. And... He does have a swivel on both of his thighs, and look at the knees, he does have double knees, so the legs do go all the way up, about there. And look at the boot, on his right boot, he has a holster for a pistol, but I'm going to be honest, I did not find any pistol accessory with this figure, and I'm really shocked because why would they have the holster on the boot if there was no pistol included? But other than that, the feet do point down about there, they point up about there, and he does have rock wrinkles, so he doesn't cool action poses. And look at the accessories, he comes with an electric baton. Look at the baton, it looks very cool, it comes in a solid grey color, and it also has this electric piece up here. It's made of a looser plastic, and I'm pretty sure you could take it off, but I would keep it on here for the review. And another thing you can do is... You're able to extend the baton just by simply um, pulling it in or out. 
just like that. To equip the baton, all you do is push the handle into his hand just like this. And you want to just like, you know, make little turns. And it looks really good. And finally, he comes with a riot shield. Look at the shield. It looks very cool. On the bottom half, it has this white color. And on the other top, it has this black color. And on the uh, top part, he has this like red or orange paint. And you can see through it right there. And here in the back, you can find the handle and the arm clamp for the riot shield. To equip the shield, it's very interesting. But all you want to do is just slide in the grip right here. And you also want to make sure that the arm clamp is snug around his arm. And you can just, you know, maneuver it around just like this. And once the clamp is on his forearm, it looks really cool, as you can see. And real quick, here's a little comparison alongside the original Scout Trooper from Jedi Fallen Order. Alongside the new um, Scout Trooper from Jedi Survivor. Look at them side by side. They're pretty um, identical. But there are a few tiny little um, differences with the figures. Um, of course with this one, he has a orange um, cable. Or this one has a red cable. Also, um, a small little like detail is that the silver on the newest one is much stronger than the previous one. As you can see, it shines way better in the light. And I'm referring to the front of the helmet right here. And I think there's some other silver parts. Uh, oh, the back. As you can see, it has much better shine to it. I don't know, that's just my personal opinion. And there is one small detail that the previous Scout Trooper did right. He actually comes with a pistol. Even though, you know, he comes with another accessory like the baton. I know that this one has the shield accessory. But, I mean, if we're going to be paying, you know, $30 for a new figure, at least give us every accessory possible. That's just my opinion. And I'm going to show you guys. If the Scout Trooper did come with a pistol... You can easily slide it right here in this holster, and it's very snug, and will not come out. So as an overview of the figure, right off the bat I'm going to say that this figure is really good. I love the articulation on the figure, it is just the same way as the other one was, and I also like the new accessory with the riot shield. It's easy to put on, and it works out really good. And of course I am going to say again, um, it being, you know, a $30 figure, uh, where, you know, I am, and it being more in other countries, I would really like to see, um, a pistol, and, you know, it missing that accessory, it's kind of odd, you know, since it does have the holster on its boot, but that's just my opinion, but overall, if you're a fan of scout troopers like I am, you're definitely gonna want this one in your collection, so yeah, overall, it's a really good figure, and something I like to do at the end of these reviews, Is show you how I display my figures, having the box in the back, and the figure in the front. But I am going to leave it here and say if you enjoyed the video, be sure to leave a like. And if you like the content that you see here on the channel so far, be sure to subscribe. And be sure to follow me on my Instagram page. I hope you guys have an awesome rest of your day, and I'll catch you guys on the next one.